what is going on everybody inevitable here and today what i have for you guys is the world's highest gun streak at the moment using the support package this gameplay is a 53 gun streak on octane using the ak-12 now this gameplay i actually do end up losing it but i tried my hardest to make the comeback but it just doesn't happen if you guys want to come check out my channel that'll be down in the description below now if we can get this video to 75 likes guys that'll be amazing uh, from all of us here at AEH, we just want to thank you guys all for the amount of support we have been getting on the channel lately. We have been blowing up. It's been it's it's been pretty uh, amazing how fast we're growing and all the amount of support we've been getting. So truly, from all of us here, we just want to give a, a big big thanks for all of you guys who support the channel. Like I said before, if you guys enjoy, leave a like. If you guys really enjoy, leave a favorite. Now, what I want to talk to you guys about is the Xbox story. And before I start the commentary, I want to talk about, well, my dad doesn't like us playing video games. And when I mean us, I mean me and my brother. My brother already graduated high school, so my dad doesn't really care about him that much. But back then, me and my brother used to actually share one Xbox, and that was his, and that was in his room. And every time my dad would catch me playing, he would actually take the Xbox away. And my brother would get mad at me from because I, I got it taken away, then he couldn't play anymore. So then, uh, long story short, my brother ended up telling me, look, I'm sorry, but you get the Xbox taken away way too much, so you can't play anymore. He just pretty much told me straight up, you can't play anymore in my room. And every time he went to work, he would actually take the cords with him, the Xbox cords. And so I couldn't play, so he made sure of that. So my birthday ended up coming up in about like three months. This was like in December, and my, and my birthday is like in May, so it ended up coming up like in six six or five months and I ended up picking my own Xbox up on my own I ended up using all my all my birthday money on the Xbox and I didn't tell my my dad about it my mom was cool with me, us playing video games and all that kind of stuff but my dad is not like I said before so I did not tell him that I bought an Xbox and this was a big mistake because I should have told him now I got home and all that kind of stuff and I actually ended up putting the Xbox in a drawer and then, if you guys would have walked in my room, you guys would have not noticed that that I I had a hex. I actually had an Xbox in there. I had it so well hidden. It's unbelievable how well hidden I had it. And so then, uh, time goes on, and I see that I want to do YouTube, and I end up getting the uh, the courage to tell my dad that look, Dad, I have an Xbox. I'm sorry. I hope you understand. And then my dad hits me with this. I've known since the first day that you've had an Xbox. I'm not mad that you had one. And I was surprised too because I thought he was gonna I thought he was gonna flip shit when he heard me saying this. And so my dad ended up being cool with it and he was like, Look, I'm not mad that you got it. I'm just a little bit I'm just a little bit disappointed how you waited like six months to tell me about this. And it just goes to show how much like you're actually paranoid about this. And my dad actually ended up getting me pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Throughout the whole entire Black Ops 2, I was paranoid that my dad was gonna walk in and catch me playing. Like I literally couldn't play that game. I it, it just it was horrible for me. Every time I would play, I would be worried that he would come upstairs. So I would have to like have an ear sticking out of the headset to hear and stuff to see who's coming upstairs. And when he would and when he would come upstairs, I would have to hide. Uh, the controller and everything so he wouldn't find it and stuff so I was pretty much paranoid throughout throughout the whole entire Black Ops 2 and I couldn't even enjoy that game because I was so paranoid it was kind of one of those things where you expect something to happen to you and you're so uh, and you're freaking out about it and you can't even you can't even go to sleep and stuff about it and then it, it doesn't even end up happening to you and it ends up just being a joke it's kind of like um, if you guys watch How I Met Your Mother it's kind of like what Marshall did to Barney he had him so paranoid and stuff like that, and then he ended up not actually doing it to him. It's kind of like that kind of stuff. It's where you just have someone paranoid, and my dad ended up playing me pretty good. So, if there is something that I got from this, it's that you guys have to tell your parents everything, honestly. If you want something, if you want to get something, or if you want to just go somewhere, you just have to tell your parents. Because if you don't, then they will, they will play you, and they will fool you, and they will trick you. Trust me, parents know everything, and I mean everything that goes on in the house. And take it from me, guys, I did not expect my, my dad to know that I had an Xbox. And I'm surprised that he actually kept it like a secret that he knew about it for a long time. And so it would just it just amazed me 
how parents can be so deceiving and stuff and um uh, i don't know i just thought it, i just thought it was pretty funny so if you guys enjoyed the commentary make sure to leave a like below like i said it's a 53 gun streak and i almost pulled off the flawless in the game in this gameplay i ended up going 58 and 1 is the final score now we do end up losing i am sorry for that guys i tried my hardest to make the comeback as you can see right here I'm trying to make this comeback, and we almost had it too. We almost made like an 86 point down comeback, but it just doesn't end up happening. Uh, as you can see right here, I started lagging a little bit. Like, look at that guy. That guy just like freaking was a statue. So uh, I started lagging. I ended up dying from the back, and we ended up losing. So oh, sorry about that, guys. I know a lot of times people don't like it when they when people lose in a great gameplay. So sorry about that. Like I said before, if you guys enjoy, make sure to drop a like. And as always, guys, I'm inevitable. And Got a man, I don't care, that's irrelevant. No for making bad decisions for the hell of it. Young skizzles taste the rainbow, but that's so beside the point of sitting next to it.